how are you? Doing good, right. how are you? Great. Right. Coach? How, uh, how's the defensive line been since y'all added pads into the equation? I think they're improving. I mean, every day I've seen a little bit of more of improvement. Uh, got to see the practice tape today. I feel like we're getting stouter in there. Uh, we got to keep in improving our pass rush, too, when those guys have to convert. Has the physicality lived up to the hype, even though you are starting to get into the dog days? Yeah, I think every day has been a little bit more physical is what you want. And, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't call it the dog days. I think that's... You know, one of the one of the things about uh, today's camp compared to other day, uh, other camps, now with the mandatory day off, I think they get a chance to recover, reduce, and they come back out and attack it. The fact that we can understand you does that mean it's been a good camp so far, or? No, I'm telling you, it means I've adjusted to the allergies. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, maybe you weren't yelling as much. <laughs> How are your young linebackers coming? Good. I, I, I'm, uh, you know, I'm encouraged. I think uh, Jamin, uh, Chris, and DeAndre all have had, and they, they flashed. You know, all of them have had learning moments too. But I'm really, really encouraged with that group. Now, what was it that Quentin was doing last year when he when he earned all the playing time he got? And have you seen more of that here in this camp? Now? Yeah. I mean, he's completely different than a year ago, which you'd expect, right? Uh, he played a lot more football. I think he's taken more of a leadership role in that group. Uh, he's more consistent. Where last year at this time he was starting to flash, right? Now it's more consistency from practice to practice, drill to drill. Does Marquand have any resemblance to what Quentin was doing last year? I think they're a little different, but Marquand certainly flashed. He's a big body that uh, plays with great pad level and he's hard to block. What are you seeing differently from this secondary so far compared to last year? I, I definitely think they're a year smarter, year more experienced. They're communicating better. Um, they're understanding concepts better. You can tell they put a lot of work in this summer. What is it that makes Edwards so special, so good at what he does? Uh, the thing that Mike does is he, you know, he's just a football player. He makes plays in space, and he does some instinctive things you don't necessarily have to coach him to do. Actually, going off of that, have you seen the same thing from Josh Allen as well? Yeah, I think Josh has grown a bunch. Uh, you know, that's a great thing about camp is all of us can improve every day from coach to player. And I definitely think he's got more room for growth. But, it, I mean, he's a lot better than a year ago, no question. Do you still consider Boogie to be one of those young linebackers, or has he been around long enough to where you have higher expectations? Of no, I wouldn't. No, I mean, I think Boogie – might be young running with the first unit, but he's played, he's redshirted and then played a bunch of football. So he's kind of got that natural progression of a college football player. So no, I wouldn't consider him a young player. Now would I consider, consider him a senior veteran? No, I wouldn't say that either. You like what he showed in, in the spring. Has he been able to build on that early? Yeah, I, I, Boogie's doing some good things. Is there, like, sorry, was there a specific point where you saw the lights sort of come on for Darius after he'd missed so much time and then was there a game or, or something that he caught on to that you sort of... You know, I, Jen, I think the thing about Darius is it's not only is he a year more experienced, but you think about it, he's a full year being healthy, which that makes a big difference from a mental standpoint. And I think along with putting two years back-to-back -back of playing football, that the fact that he's been healthy for two years gives him a bunch more confidence. How much do you see the, the defense really kind of be, uh, taking charge and, and being that unit that's going to lead this team at least early on? I, I mean, I, I've seen growth there, but I, I'm interested to see the challenge, you know, when as we go into camp and you hit the next day and the next day, and, you know, we got, what, 25 of these things, and today was number six. So there's a long way to go yet. Did your unit win the day today? I think both, both sides had some – had some good plays and bad plays, and that's the great thing about competition. I definitely think we got great competition on our team right now. You Mark said something some uh, uh, like about Jordan Wright. Jordan's got better. I mean, I, I, I tell you this, he's a, a long, athletic body, and, uh, you know, he missed some time in the spring, and he's starting to catch up. Yusuf Corker came here as a cornerback, but he was listed as a safety. Where are you all working him right now? Uh, we're working him at safety. What, what has he done well? What, what does he show you that? He brings you a physical presence in the run game, and he's athletic. How much are you guys limiting Jordan Jones at this point, now that you're in pads? Uh, he's been limited quite a bit. Coach, 
Green and Coach Hinshaw were talking the other day about how over the summer they studied NFL teams and have incorporated some NFL plays into their playbook. How much of that do you guys do? Yeah, I think, you know, that's part of the progression as a defense and offense and as a football coach. You know, just like everybody in the profession tries to get better, the offseason is a chance for us to progress UK and progress ourselves. So you definitely do studies not only on yourselves, but what other people are doing and how you can incorporate little tweaks to your scheme. Is there you a setback at, with Jordan? Because Stoops made it sound like he was going to be good to go after practice. No, I mean, he's he, he's had some some bumps and bruises right now. He's, you know, nursing a, an ankle and a heel, but he'll be all right. Do you look at teams that run, like NFL teams that run similar schemes to yours, or do you try to look at teams that run something completely different? Or No, you try to study similar schemes, and then on third down, third down's a little bit different for everybody. So you try to pick up things that you can incorporate, and uh, you know, things that fit what you do and are teachable and learnable. You mentioned length uh, with Jordan Wright. There's a lot of young guys who are long, Oates, uh, Square. What, what, how does that change the defense, and what can they do? I mean, they don't look like your traditional football player. Well, I mean, length, if you watch, length allows you to separate off blocks, and length allows you to cover more ground and pass coverage. Uh, length allows you to get more separation when you rush the passer. So it, we definitely love long arm guys. And, I mean, it helps you. Who's a guy on the, the other side of the line that's kind of giving you a few headaches here early? Uh, you know, I, I see Big George has gotten improved a ton. I think that offensive line in general is really, really good. Uh, Benny goes without saying. Uh, felt Dorian today. Dorian made a nice play, and it's good to see Dorian back. So there's quite a few guys on that other side of the ball. What's the biggest thing that worries you when a veteran like Jordan can't go and practice for extended time? Uh, I think probably just rust, you know what I mean? And, and truthfully, uh, you know, just it's, it's a lot different seeing it on the grass than seeing it is in the film room. How confident are you and maybe why that you can get to the quarterback better this season than you did last? Well, first of all, I think we got good guys on the edge rushing the passer. I think we've improved inside with our pass rush quite a bit. And our linebackers have improved their blitz ability too. Did you move Josh to the other linebacker spot like Snoops had talked about initially? And then did Boogie move into Josh's old spot? Yeah, that's right. Josh is playing the Jack for us, and Boogie's playing the Sam. Do you think the Jack could have an expanded role then? I mean, yeah, and the th Darius came out so often on third down in a lot of situations. And Darius. West. Oh, no, Darius was in on third down still. Was he? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the Jack, the good thing about the Jack is it just allows you to rush him more in, into the boundary. He slides in, he can play drop, he can rush. It, it just gives us more variance there. Would you say you've seen uh, Adrian sort of carry like a leadership role since you guys have been training? Yeah, I think Adrian's improved. Um, he, he had a great physical play today in practice. and just need him to continue to be physical. What's the last week been like with the pads fully on, especially on with your unit? You know, those guys are probably the ones who want the pads on the most. I mean, it's a lot more fun. First of all, you get to see if you can stop the run, right? It's hard for the offense to run the ball. You're really just practicing assignment football and hands and feet, where when you put the pads on, you're practicing physicality. Everybody good? Thanks, Pat.